Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Saturday. Welcome back. I hope you're having a fantastic start to your weekend. It's time once again to chit chat about all things candles, wax melts, you know, the home fragrance stuff. So um, before we get into the video, per usual, be sure to check out the description box right below this video. There's a plethora of information down there, links to everything that I'm talking about today, discount codes, um, Christmas and July sales that are happening. Yeah, it's that time of year. We are, we're officially like well into July at this point. So it's time for all of the Christmas and July to bombard us. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's just a ton of information down there. I am uh, going to link my Candle Crock 101, Candle Lamp 101. Those are both things I'm going to reference in this video. And if you're new to home fragrance, you might be like, what, what is that? <laughs> Why would I need that? Where, where can I get one? So there's lots of information in that description box. Um, yeah, feel free to check that out. You might be able to find your answer down there a little bit faster than I can get back to you in the comments. So yeah. Um, let me know what your plans are for this coming weekend in the comments down below and let me know what home fragrance you are lighting up in honor of Christmas in July. <laughs> I am not burning any holiday candles this month because it's just really hard for me to, um, I don't know, I'm a very seasonal burner. I've mentioned this a number of times here on my channel. I'm very, very seasonal when it comes to my home fragrance. The summer months are really dedicated to lighter gourmands you know like lemon cupcake type scents or fruity scents i love me some fruity scents during the summer months so um yeah that's what i typically focus on this time of year but i tell you what like uh because it's july i'm technically already over summer <laughs> personally i'm not a summer person but um yeah like i am i'm ready for all of the fall smells and the christmas in july once that starts dropping it really does get me excited to just get summer over with and to like move on to my two favorite seasons which are the fall and the winter that's right i'm one of those people so anyway let's go ahead and get started with um Let's start with candle crocs. I actually did not have anything in any of my candle crocs this week I turned them all off just to give them a little bit of a break um, Sometimes I will do that where I will go a week or two without putting anything into the crocs um, And then I might go like four or five weeks with just having them on basically all the time You know as I am like cycling through fragrances. So I'm um, taking a little bit of a break from them right now But um, they'll be back. We all know that I love me a good candle crock session <laughs> Candle lamps. So I actually just finished, it's right here. Um, this is my Homeworks Blueberry Cheesecake. I believe this was a freebie with one of my orders that I placed earlier this year. It was either earlier this year or last year at some point. Um, they just popped this in as like a free gift, I guess. I don't buy these these particular three wick Homeworks candles because I just don't find that they give me quite enough oomph. Um, these are about the same size, I would say, as the Scentworks candles, and I think the performance is probably right on par. Like, they have the same number of wicks, roughly the same size opening. Um, I just have better luck with the Homeworks four wick candles. So, but these work incredibly well underneath my lamps. So I was using this in the dining room underneath my white marble um, candle lamp that I love so much from Etsy. And... Um, with a lamp you're basically melting by layer um do go watch the candle lamp 101 video if you want to know all the ins and outs of how a candle lamp works how a candle lamp works but just so we have just a brief descriptor here for it you're basically melting by layer instead of melting the whole thing like you are in a candle crock so you do have to pour the wax off as you go down through the candle when you stop smelling the fragrance oils being like dispersed into the room that's when you know it's time to pour off the wax obviously never down the sink never down your toilet be careful when pouring into a trash can um you might i don't know you might melt your trash bag i feel like the wax is not super hot when it's melting underneath a candle lamp but it's definitely warm so you want to be careful where you dispose of your wax i do also have a nifty little um, what to do with your leftover wax video that I will link down below in the description box. So feel free to check that out. If you are a frequent lamper or crocker, <laughs> this might be a good way for you to get just a little bit more out of the wax that you're really 
not going to be able to do anything with. So at any rate, um, so you can see here that I did try to burn this, but this one kept extinguishing itself. So I melted, um, I got like three solid layers out of this one. This last one here, I basically can't smell anything. So this scent, this uh, wax at the bottom here is unscented. So that means this one's done. Um, anyway, so that was underneath my lamp this week. I'm, I haven't been using the lamp that's in my office. I feel like I should maybe move it to a different location. Um, I might move that to like my laundry room or something. It might, be nice. Ooh, it might be nice in my bedroom too. Actually, you know what? I think I might move it up to our master bedroom. I just thought of a really good spot where it might fit up there. All right, anyway, there we go. Let us, let us get to what I am currently burning. So we're gonna start behind me here. I actually have two candles lit um in this room <laughs> i don't need two candles in this room but these are a really great combination together so that is bath and body works um radiant sky which has lychee in it which is one of my favorite like summertime fruity smells and then this is farm stand watermelon in the three wick version from back in the day from homeworks um that was the very first year i believe that homeworks was out on qvc and um, I had that, I purchased that way back then. I think it was like, I think it was the summer of 2017. I'm fairly certain that's when. Um, I didn't think to look at the date before lighting it today. They, they usually have a date stamped on the bottom, so I think it's 17, but at any rate, um, that's what's going in here. That's a beautiful combination together. If you happen to have this and the either the old school one that I have here, if you manage to hang on to one, or it is for sale again over on QVC. They have a duo of the farm stand watermelon and it comes in like this gingham type packaging here. So um, yeah, that is available if you're interested. The newer version admittedly is not quite as good as the original was, but it's 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 still good um it just doesn't quite have as much oomph to it but that's kind of par for the course compared to where homeworks used to be when they first started out so no surprise there um and on my kitchen island i also have a homeworks banana daiquiri i like that banana daiquiri so much that i actually purchased a backup of it i think homeworks sent me one as a pr item and originally i was like oh this is, this has like a boozy note to it it's got like a rum note in there and those are those are not my favorite types of fragrances um but i really actually like the banana daiquiri i feel like it doesn't smell very boozy at all and it's a really yummy banana scent so um that one that's in the kitchen right now i actually purchased myself um because i liked the pr one that they sent so much so that's a great one and um that is i started that a couple days ago and i've kind of been burning it non-stop like i've i've been finding myself craving that one so i hope i don't miss it too much after it's gone because at this point i think i'm done buying any type of like summer fragrance from homeworks at least for this year honestly um christmas in july has already dropped over at homeworks.shop and i placed an order for a few things there's lots of things that are going to be dropping over at homeworks.shop over the coming weeks so they did an initial drop on friday and then more things are going to be filtering in um like i said i did place an order and i anticipate placing a couple more orders i'm not doing doubles of anything and i'm trying to mostly focus on fragrances that i haven't tried in the past there's a lot of um there will be some returning scents for sure i'm gonna try to stay away from the returning scents and focus mostly on the newer stuff um just because i don't want to like i don't know i'm trying to get out of like backup hoarding mode so but at any rate i did order some christmas and july stuff and i cannot wait to start sharing that with you guys i also received my pr for the homeworks tsv that is going to be going live on i think it's july 17th um let me I, I feel like i have july 17th in my head but i i want to confirm that so check the description box for the date for the christmas in july the ambassadors are not allowed to share any previews until it is live on QVC. So you're not going to see any, you're not supposed to see any sneak peeks coming up at all um, until the TSV actually goes live. So I have the candles, I have smelled them, 
and I'm gonna film my video probably early next week so that it's ready to go when the TSV goes live um, with the first sniff impressions. It's, I, I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased with the fragrances. So I think most of you guys will be as well. Anyway, um, what else was I burning this week? Let's just start plowing through these. I have so much stuff sitting out in front of me here, so I'm just gonna start grabbing. Okay, things that I finished this week include a farm stand blueberry and a farm stand strawberry. So both of these um, I finished up this week. Um, these are not the original lids, by the way. I just thought these lids were even cuter with this particular style of packaging than the original lids. The original lids for this collection have like the fruit on the top. So the strawberries, uh, Farm Stand Strawberry had a bunch of really like ripe, juicy strawberries. Um, the blueberries had a nice, you know, bowl of blueberries on the top but anyway this farm stand blueberry oh i just love these um i picked these trios up by the way i was burning the peach a little bit this week i'm nursing the peach a little bit more because i really am enjoying this farm stand peach this year i've always liked it but i feel like i really like it this summer this summer i'm finding myself really drawn to peach scents um really any like stone fruit like nectarine apricot like i love those types of scents um and then i'm also really craving um like strawberry as well so anyway um luckily i bought several of these trios last year at qvc and i'm gonna work my way through them this summer but this farm stand peach is so good but anyway i did finish up these two this week so these are going to go in my empties for july i also finished up this bad boy here actually let me just start putting the empties over here so they're in their own little land oh my unicorn poop my first unicorn poop <laughs> okay i love this scent I reviewed it. It is basically Aqualina uh, Pink Sugar. If you wore that perfume in the early 2000s, uh, Unicorn Poop is an exact dupe of that. Um, I have now finished the Unicorn Poop and I finished my first Fairies Floss. I did purchase four of each. And then in my downstairs guest bathroom, I have uh, the Mermaid Scales, which I'm kind of uh slowly going through um i do have a cart over at kringle that i just need to like hit send on but i'm i'm just afraid that they're gonna release something awesome soon and i just kind of would rather like i don't know i don't want a bunch of like candle packages coming i'd rather just wait until i get like a substantial amount you know make it worthwhile in terms of that shipping <laughs> And also the amount of time that I'm going to wait. So um, it usually takes me quite some time to get my packages from the East Coast. So anyway, unicorn poop all done. Luckily, I have three more. So that's good for me. Um, the fantasy collection is still available over at Kringle. So um, the fantasy collection, I don't I don't know if that's going to go on sale. It might. That one might go on sale. The reserve collection um, hardly ever does. Speaking of reserve, I've got some reserve candles. Um, so yeah, that hardly, that the reserve collection, I don't think will ever really go on sale. The fantasy might, but you can use my ambassador discount code for that. The information for it is down below. So that'll at least save you a few bucks if you're interested in picking up any of those fantasy collections because they, they're not on sale right now. Okay, um, in terms of reserve candles, I don't know, what did I do with the Red Delicious? I think I already put Red Delicious away for September. So I reviewed Red Delicious and that video went up. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> you i didn't mean to bonk you i'm so sorry oh man wow um gesundheit to me anyway wh where was i talking about okay i uploaded my review of red delicious uh, oh you want to come sit in my lap now that's fine i completely i will accept that right i just feel so bad um i reviewed the geez louise get to the point lady on thursday I was actually supposed to have the Australian Kiwi review go live later on in the day, 
but um I'm a bonehead and just forgot about the video and so I never finished the description box or did the thumbnail or anything so this review is going to go live tomorrow alongside the review of this bad boy which I have been kind of struggling through but only because it's so friggin like potent <laughs> Um, it's not available right now, but when, if this ever comes back in stock and you want a fragrance that's going to smack you in the face from Kringle, it's going to be the Blue Orchid. Oh man, this one is powerful. In fact, it's so strong that, uh, I've been burning it on our back patio and Craig is like, that candle is so fragrant even outside. He doesn't care for the scent. <laughs> so, I'm having to burn this one when he is not home from work, but Anyway, um, sorry that review for Australian Kiwi never went live. You'll, you'll see it tomorrow. That's the way I do YouTube. I just kind of just whatever floats my boat and then I forget about things. So sorry about that. Um, this one here, uh, I will be, uh, uploading a review of, like I said, tomorrow as well, but the red delicious is already up. And then after that review, I ended up popping it into a candle closet for my fall fragrances just so that um, I can have it for September. It's a great scent. Um, it smells a lot like the peel of the apple. It's, it's just really, really interesting. It's fresh, clean, just a really nice take on like a crisp apple scent. I like it a lot. Um, another candle I was burning this week was my beloved Coco Paradise. Oh, God, I love this one. This is not like an edible coconut scent at all. This is definitely more of a... <laughs> What would you call it like a sandal woody musky type of coconut um salted uh coconut minoy sugared neroli bronzed sandalwood are the fragrance notes um i love it it's so good i hope this fragrance sticks around it probably won't but anyway i really like it i had one sitting over on this table over here and i also had one in the dining room as well so um yeah what i like about this particular scent this coco paradise is i feel like i don't have to leave it lit for very long it's it's quite strong so after about like an hour and a half like once i get a full pool i almost feel like i can blow it out and the scent lingers quite a bit after that even so i don't know it's kind of one of my like longer lasting Bath and Body Works candles, so I really appreciate it for that. Okay, you guys, so let's go through the wax melts from this past week. I do have a little bit of vendor wax in here. So um, I uh, connected with my friend, Samantha, and she offered to sell me some of her vendor wax. Um, I think she had quite a bit of it. So um, I got some from her I I did pay her for it so um, and then she sent me a box with like some stuff to go through and just kind of test out I tried vendor wax on my own last year and um, I found the fragrances to be amazing but the lasting power just isn't there for me compared to Scentsy at least so that's why I typically don't spend a lot of time in like the vendor wax community like I just I don't know it's still very much with a lot of those companies feels like a hunger games type of thing where people like you know there's like releases that come up and then all this hype gets built up and then things sell out very quickly i know there's a lot of vendors that don't do it that way and they just readily have things available for purchase but i don't know that part of the vibe just kind of is a real turn off to me like when i want to buy something i just and, and this is true even like for Kringle with the reserve collections, like how quickly they sell uh, they sell out. Like it's just kind of a little bit of a turn off to me because I'm just like, oh, it just, like I don't like that feeling of like, feeling like I have to like rush through a purchase. I like being able to think about it just a little bit. Um, and I feel like with a lot of these like wax vendor companies that are like small independent businesses and i get it you know like a lot of them are smaller independent businesses and so they can't really like produce at the rate as like a major company like sensi does but it does take away from the experience a little bit for me so anyway i do have some vendor wax in here that i will um mention i also at the beginning of the week was using some of like my usual favorites so i'll go through those really quickly um I was doing quite a bit of uh, sweet stuff and sea salt. I like pairing these two together. So um, there's um, that in here. Is that, that was the only, yeah. 
think I only did this in about half of my warmers. So um, this was really good. I also have Blue Coconut Beach as well as Happy Birthday. These were both from Scentsy. Happy Birthday is now gone again because it was in this last Bring Back My Bar. Um, Blue Coconut Beach is no longer available, so not really worth mentioning. But let's talk about some of this vendor wax here. So there's quite a bit. Um, and let's let's go through it. There's, there's I think, three, three or four different companies. Okay, the first one here is... The pharmacist's daughter and um, this is a mix of Captain Crunch Berries sugar cookie and marshmallow fluff this was really delicious um, the lasting power of it was like a day a day and it's done that's kind of the norm for me with vendor wax by the way I put it into my 25 watt Scentsy warmers that I have um, I also have one of those like hot plate style warmers um, I've heard those are actually best for vendor wax, but I don't know. I, I don't like the look of that particular one, so I don't really get it out very often. So if I purchase vendor wax, it has to work in my Scentsy warmers because I'm not going to like go out of my way to purchase like a bunch of other warmers just to be able to use for vendor wax. Because again, it's not... It's not something I naturally gravitate towards, so I don't see the point in investing a bunch of money to like get a setup for just vendor wax, if that makes sense. But this smelled really good. Um, one thing that I've noticed that I kind of want to inquire with you guys about is I feel like a lot of vendor wax kind of is oddly gelatinous. Like, does anyone else experience that? Like when you're going to change the wax out, it's almost like the wax congeals even when it's warm um it just has sorry he's snoring it's just sawing a log over here but it almost has this like congealed gel like texture what causes that like it's just so interesting um normally what i melt is obviously the the scentsy as well as the kringle and those never really get that congealed texture it must have something to do with like the type of wax that it is so anyway I don't know enough about vendor wax to really speak to it, but I'm kind of curious if you guys know what would cause that. So this is from Southbound Candle Company. This is one that I had heard about but never purchased anything from, so I'm glad that she tossed this in for me to try. Um, breakfast Berries. This is Strawberry Pound Cake, Captain Crunch Berries, um, and Rich Vanilla Sugar Cookies. So this one was really good. I like this one a lot. Vendor wax is fun because they do come in like these cute little shapes and stuff. This is the Melted Moose Captain Crunch Berries. Ah, Captain Crunch Berries is anything cereal related seems to be really popular in the vendor community. Am I imagining that? You guys like cereal scents there, don't you? <laughs> I just, I, I, a lot of this stuff had crap, Captain Crunch Berries in it. This one smelled really good. I like this one a lot. Um, Zeep. Now this is a company that I've heard a lot of people talk about. This is American Pie. I had this going on the 4th of July. This is Mac Apple, uh, blueberries, whipped cream, and vanilla ice cream. This smelled so good, you guys. This one especially had that congealed gelatinous type situation going on. Do they, t oh, yeah, there's no, ooh, Kansas. Um. Gosh, this smelled really good. This was heavy on that Macintosh apple note, and it's a really nice Macintosh apple. Oh, this one was just really pretty. I like this one a lot. Um, and then this is Strawberry Cookie Land, which is strawberry pound cake, confetti cake, toffee, butterscotch, pretzels, and cookies. And this is, oh, this is Rose Girls. I've ordered from Rose Girls before. Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Oh yeah, I like this one. This one was really good. I actually have a custom bar. Was it Rose Girls? Who did my custom bar? I don't remember. I'm sure you guys do. I think it was Rose Girls. Does she do custom bars? Maybe not. I cannot remember. I still have it. I don't think I finished it. Or maybe I did. I don't know. It's... No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Now I'm curious. I'm curious if I ever finished it. I'm going to have to go looking for it. I think I finished it. <laughs> Welcome to Melanie's brain fart uh, 
earlier. I could, I just never remember anything. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, you guys, that's what I have for you today. Um, more, uh, more wax and candles coming at you next week. So, um, I'm focusing mostly on a lot of like my fruity stuff and still mostly trying to get through a lot of my backup stash of the homeworks. Uh, summer candles and I am so excited to share an update with you at the end of the summer in terms of what I have left um, with regard to spring summer fragrances from homeworks my goal is to get down to no more than five left over for next year because next year I want to focus on new things like new fragrances coming from homeworks and um, yeah got to make room for that stuff. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Let me know what you are, um, what you're doing this weekend. Like I said, in the comments down below and let me know what you're going to be burning and melting. I will whoop, see you later. <laughs> Alf, Alf is ready to be done with this video. I will see you guys in tomorrow's Ken Rubies. Take care. Toodaloo.